hey people, welcome back to uh, the, my channel to watch this amazingly high quality video that you're about to see. Um, look at the bottom, our new addition to the list. The player of the day award goes to one player every day, and the team has to win. Otherwise, Kyrie would be up here a few times, but uh, hey, they don't win very often, we've seen. But, yeah. So, Anthony Davis is up there with two, along with Giannis Anadokounmpo, Andre Drummond, Draymond Green, James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, Carl Anthony Towns, Fred Van Vliet, and Russell Westbrook all tied at two. But as we go into the actual power rankings, the Knicks fall down to 30, because they suck. Do I need to say anything else? The Bulls, um... It'd be sad to be a Bulls fan. You kind of have semi-high hopes coming into the season. They've just flopped. Um, yeah. <laughs> Not much else I can say. They lost to the Hornets. And, uh, I mean, that automatically makes you a bottom five team, really. <laughs> Warriors. Even though I have them bottom seven. But whatever. Bottom ten team. Uh -huh. Yeah, but Bulls are doing not too well. Hornets go up too, just because the Bulls and Knicks went down. Like, what else do I have to say? Grizzlies went up too again because the Bulls went down. And, I mean, they've been doing kind kind actually, Bulls and Knicks. Went, just those two went down, so therefore they're going up. There, yeah. So Grizzlies are 27. They're pretty... Okay, they beat the the ne the net, yeah. I was debating between uh um John Morant and Anthony Davis for one of the days, but I gave it to Anthony Davis just because he had a little bit better things. But um, anyways, <clears throat> uh, what am I? Oh, Wizards or no Cavs? Cavs go up to again. Teams falling, teams rising. Uh, but they've been they've been. Okay, I guess what you'd expect from them. Wizards are staying the same. Um, not much I can say about them. They're the Wizards. Hopefully Isaiah Thomas comes back and he'll be good. And Because I want to see him good again. I remember when he was good. That was the first season I really started watching the NBA. And he was just so fun to watch. Just the 6... What is he? 6'9"? Six, 6'9 nine? Six, nine player running around. Averaging 27 a game. What the crap? That's unheard of. But whatever, there. I hope he does well. Wizards are staying the same. Warriors drop down 13 from 10 to 24, or 11 to 24. That's yeah, that's for 10 last time. <clears throat> Warriors are now 20, 24 because Steph Curry got hurt. D'Angelo Russell. Uh, so this will really prove if the Warriors are going to trade him or not. Because if they don't trade him in that. By the time Curry comes back, they're probably not going to be treating him, at least for a while, or if they get an insane package. I might make a video, what if he gets traded to the, like, Timberwolves and just simulate it on 2K, see what they think would happen. But, yeah, so if he's not gone by the time Curry comes back, he's going to be there for a while. Pistons go down one just because the T-Wolves went up. They've been okay. About what you'd expect from them. Thunder going down four. Mostly just teams going up. This was so hard to put together with all these teams going up and teams going down, obviously. Like, what do these in-between teams do? Like, whatever. Thunder go down four. Lost to the Jazz opening night. Go Jazz. I'm actually wearing a Jazz shirt right now because they're going to beat the Sixers tonight. Yeah, th this was made on November... November 2nd, but I based it 100% off of October. So I, I completed this whole, except player of the day, but I only, that that's only the October. These power rankings were November 2nd, but I did not take into account anything of the November games, all of like, not very, well, I guess, all of the some that were played that day. But yeah, Thunder going down, Magic going down, so Thunder and Magic going down four, Mostly, again, just teams going up. <clears throat> Magic, okay. Hopefully, Fultz can go play great still. Or, I mean, not great, but good. See, I hate when that happens. Like, what the crap? 
Uh, John Isaac, still my pick for most improved player. I didn't actually make a video, but that's been my pick for a long time. Uh, Timberwolves, I mean, they've been, they've surprised me. I'm still not buying 100% into this hype around them, but they're looking good. If they get Russell, they're a legit playoff team. I'm still thinking they're not going to make it, but who knows? Uh, Suns, what the crud? This is the weirdest team in the league. Like, you would never expect the Phoenix Suns, especially after Aiton got suspended, to lose two games to top teams that are both in the top ten of my power rankings by one each. The Nuggets and the Jazz. Jazz, thank goodness beat them. I would have, like, not done good things or been sane if they didn't, but whatever. <laughs> Nuggets, I wish they lost because I hate the Nuggets, but whatever. So I'm not buying into this hype yet probably not till january if they keep this up but they just beat the um a good team the sixers they beat the sixers on monday so w random okay kings they they beat the jazz that was a november game let me look at the calendar yeah that was a november game because it was friday not basing it off of that but um because i mean they'd probably not be going down that far yeah, uh, they were having that taken into account, but all that aside, Kings have not shown great things. They've still won one game, I believe, so they're not going at great places. Hopefully they can pick it up, because I kind of want them to win or do good. But with the Warriors kind of out of the picture now, that leaves room for two of them, like the Spurs and the Kings. I was thinking only one of them is going to make it, but with the Warriors going down... I'll lose room for both of them if that happens. But Raptors at going down one. I mean, mostly just the Mavs going up. And the Heat, you can't see them because I'm trying to keep this top half covered to make it more mysterious. But whatever. That actually, I wasn't trying to make it exactly half. I was just thinking it'll go down some. But it, it turned out to be exactly half. So that works. Uh, so Mavericks going up four, they looked pretty good. The Hawks going up six, I told you I was high on this team, and I was right. This team's so good, except Trey Young just got hurt, and he's back now, I think. And John Collins just got suspended 25 games. Not based off of that, again, this was, this was like yesterday when it happened, but I made this on November 2nd again. This is the last time I'm saying it, so if this if the thing happened in November, no, that was not taken into account. But, yeah, I mean, Suns were still doing great when Aiton got suspended, so hopefully uh, the Hawks can do the same thing, because I really like this team. Trey Young's one of my favorite players in the league. Also, Fred Van Vliet is down there. Trey Young, I was debating between him and someone else for, like, two games, but he didn't get it. But whatever. Um, he, so the Hawks go up six, and the... Pelicans are 14. They're just going to stay. Zion's still out. <clears throat> um, yeah, Zion's still out. We'll really get to know what they are when he comes back. Heat going up six. This team's look insane even without Jimmy Butler. I was kind of higher on them than most people, but still kind of low on them compared to what they've been doing. But, uh, yeah. So they're going up six. Nets minus one. Or two. They've not been looking amazing. Uh, <laughs> Kyrie. And, I mean, Kyrie's been going freaking off. But the Nets have not. Like, the rest of the team has been pretty bad, so to speak. But whatever. They're going down two. Pacers up one just because the Nets went down. Good for them. Why does that keep happening? I'm just scrolling. Um, Spurs plus three. They've looked pretty good. They're one of two undefeated teams at one point. And the Sixers, the other one, again, just lost to the Suns. Jazz are going to make it two in a row for them. But Spurs going up three. Nuggets minus one. Again, I hate them. They almost lost to the Kings. Not much else I can say. They're going to go down one. Celtics up one. They've looked pretty good. Their size is really helping them here. The Rockets are, like, the Rockets. They're going to go down one. Uh, even though Russ and Harden have looked like it's actually going to work better than I expected... Um, 
Here, just scenario time. All right. Russ and Harden both have double-digit points and assists, and both of them with nine rebounds. They're down by one, or it's a tie game, no timeouts, and so they don't have the ball. There's like 10 seconds left. Other team shoots it, <laughs> misses, so it's coming. It's bouncing up a little bit off the hoop with seven seconds left, say. They're both in position for the rebound. Again, no timeouts. Who gets the rebound here? What, one of three choices. Do, 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 no. Um, one, Harden, or Russ just lets Harden get the rebound because he's a better shooter. Uh, probably not. Two, um, they both go up for it and whoever gets it gets it and goes and shoots it. Or three, and the most likely one in my opinion, they fight for it. Ball goes out of bounds to the other team with, like, three seconds left. <laughs> and they would probably score, and I'd make fun of them forever because I hate them. They keep beating the Jazz in the playoffs, but whatever. Um, up to the number six-rated Blazers. Rockets just went down. These two teams are going to be neck and neck, even though the Blazers just lost to the Warriors without Curry, Green, or Russell, I believe, but not based off of that. Bucks staying the same, again, about what you'd expect from them. Jazz going down one, um, just because, I mean, that wasn't based off the Kings' loss, but Sixers have just looked a lot better than I expected them to, so those two are going to be neck and neck. They play tonight, so it's going to be a great game. Lakers are uh, going to stay there. I think they're going to be in the number two spot for a while, and the Clippers are going to be in the number one. <sighs> yeah, of course, they are. <laughs> Both those two teams, it's going to be fun. I sure hope the Jazz make the Western Conference Finals and play the Lakers, or the Clippers there, because the more... Actually, I hope they play the Lakers there, but I'm kind of doubting that that'll happen. Because, I mean, if they play the Lakers there, they're an easier matchup, and LeBron doesn't do well against the Jazz for some reason, historically. And, I mean, yeah, it'd just be cool to beat the Clippers and then more likely the Lakers. Just saying. But, yeah, that's good, good rankings, I believe. So those are my power rankings. Yeah, as we go look at the biggest risers and fallers. Um, good job, Phoenix Suns, RIP Golden State Warriors 2019. Ah, oh, they're, they're gone. That's a miracle. Like, I'm going to get so many hate, so much hatred from saying this, but I'm, okay, so I'm not glad Steph Curry got injured, but just knowing that someone has to get injured, I'm glad it was him. Like, it couldn't have been a better person. Like, again, I wish he didn't get injured. That would make me more, uh, that, that would make me happier, but the fact that someone's going to get injured, I'm glad it was him. Like, couldn't have happened to a better person type thing. Just like last year in the playoffs when an S. Cantor got hurt and missed my little bit. Not very much, but that's what I was kind of thinking. Someone's going to get injured, so good thing it was him. Because, again, I'm a Jazz fan. I don't like him. Uh, he held Rudy off too long. And then we traded him, but still... And, uh, whoa, that is my timer to signify that I am almost done, or should be almost done. Uh, and the year before that, Gordon Hayward, again, jazz fan, I, he's just dead to me, I don't care for him anymore. Um, he got hurt. Uh, I wish it didn't happen like that, but now I can just say karma couldn't have happened to a better person. See you guys next video, and bye.